Hello everyone, welcome to Maths with Smart Tips. In this lecture, we will discuss the independent of events, independence of events in probability. So, in probability, independence of any two events or two or more events is very important factor. Let's start. And before starting the video, I am requesting you to all those who are new in my channel, please like the video, comment if you have any doubt in the comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe the channel. So, let us first let A and B be two events connected to a given random experiment so let us first take two events now we are going to the definition of independence or stochastically independent or simply independent so two events a and b are said to be stochastically independent or statistically independent or simply independent if and only if we can write p of a b this is equal to p a into p b so if p a b is not equal to p a into p b then a and b are said to be dependent event so this is the main fact for simply independent event now we comes to the mutually independent and pairwise independent of two or more than two events so let us first go to the definition of pairwise independent what is pairwise independent of any events so three events first we start with three events so three events a b and c are said to be pairwise independent if p of a b this is equal to p a into p b p of b c this is equal to p b into p c and p of c a this is equal to p c into c a so this is the definition of pairwise independent event and a b c are said to be mutually independent if p a b is equal to p a into p b p b c equal to p b into p c p c a into p c into p a and p a b c this is equal to p a into p b into p c so this condition is extra for mutually independent which is not necessary for pairwise independent so from these two definitions we can get an easily easy explanation of these two events and we simply can say that that uh, is an important note that is mutually independent implies pairwise independent because here one condition we have extra condition but this condition is not necessary for the pairwise independent so mutually independent is implies mutual independent implies pairwise independent but pairwise independent does not implies mutually independent so in these two fact we uh, go through an example and before going to that we are going to discuss the general uh, if, if for general n events the mutual independent events for n general event so in general n independent events a1 a2 n are said to be mutually independent if p a i a j this is equal to p a i into p a j for i less than j and i j any combination of uh, 1 to n taken from taken two at a time and p a i a j a k this is equal to p a i into p a j into p a k where i less than j less than k and i j k any combination of 1 to n taken three at a time and so on and if we take n events so p a1 a2 a n this is equal to p a1 p a2 and p dot dot, dot p a n multiplied now the notes comes mutually independent implies pairwise independent but converse is not true so let us take an example to understand uh, more likely more generally let us take an example to understand this let the equally likely outcomes of an experiment be one of uh, one of four points in three dimensional space with cartesian with quad cartesian coordinate so we all know that this is a uh, point on three dimensional cartesian coordinate let us take 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 and 1 1 1 so let us take four points now let us define the events a that is x coordinate value is 1 a event a event b y coordinate value is 1 and event c is z coordinate value is 1 now here total four points now by definition probability of a this is equal to total four points and x coordinate value is 1 means in uh, how many points so here x coordinate value is 1 and here x coordinate value is 1 so two favorable number of cases and total number of points is 
4 so 2 by 4 is the probability for probability of a so this gives 1 by 2 similarly pb equal to 1 by 2 since here a favorable case is since p is the coordinate p is the event y coordinate value is 1 that means in this point y coordinate value is 1 and in this point y coordinate value is 1 so favorable number of cases is 2 and total number of uh, cases is 4 so this gives the probability 1 by 2 and similarly pc equal to 1 by 2 since here the z coordinate value is 1 in this point and in this point so similarly pc equal to 1 by 2 now p of ab that means a means the event x coordinate value is 1 and also b means y coordinate value is 1 that means p a b this event means x coordinate value is 1 and y coordinate value is 1 so uh, the number of points in which x coordinate value is 1 and also y coordinate value is 1 is this only this point so they here total four points and favorable number of points is 1 therefore the probability of p a b is equal to 1 by 4 and which is equal to we can write 1 by 4 as 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 which we can write p a into p b since the value of p a is equal to 1 by 2 and p b equal to 1 by 2 now p b c this means the event uh, y coordinate value is 1 and z coordinate value is 1 so how many points in which uh, it occurs so a y coordinate value is 1 and z coordinate value is 1 means only this point y coordinate value and z coordinate value are 1 1 so this is equal to 1 by 4 similarly since the total number of points is 4 and favorable number of points is 1 so this gives 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 and pb into pc and similarly pca means uh, c means the probability uh, the event the z coordinate value is 1 and a means the event x coordinate value is 1 that means the probability of c means z coordinate value is 1 and x coordinate value is 1 which is equal to 1 by 4 which is occurs only at the this last point so this is also equal to 1 by 4 and this gives pc into ca pc into pa so this means p a b c are pairwise independent so we have to prove that now we have to prove that whether they are mutually independent or not so the last criteria for mutual independence is the this is the extra criteria in the definition we have so p a b c this is means x coordinate value is 1 y coordinate value is 1 and z coordinate value is 1 here only one such points in which the x coordinate value is 1 y coordinate value is 1 and z coordinate value is 1 that means the probability of p a b c is equal to 1 by 4 but which is not equal to p a into p b into p c since p a into p b into p c means 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 this gives 1 by 8 so 1 by 4 is not equal to 1 by 8 that means which implies that a b c are not mutual independent event that means we have proved that already we have proved that uh, mutual independence implies pairwise independence but pairwise independence does not implies mutual independence so this is the uh, main fact for this so in this video this is the content if the video is helpful then please give a like to this video share with your friends and subscribe the channel thank you friends see you again in the next video